Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 48. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be taking part in the one make races for International A. And we are starting off with the Lamborghini Aventador. Um, if I can select it. Here we go. So this is the uh, International A1 one make race. We're going around the Madrid circuit for five laps. I actually really like this track. So this is going to be fun. And we are all in the Aventador LP700. So let's enter. The Dance of the Aventadors. That's a really cool name. Are they all orange Aventadors though? No, they're all different colours. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Right, we are here with the Lamborghini Aventador. Hopefully, this all goes well. Because uh, the last few clips that I've recorded uh, yesterday were a little bit crappy in audio quality. So uh, hopefully it's a lot better and a lot louder. Because I know <laughs> two of the episodes I actually had my mic muted for them. And one of them, it was just way too quiet. Um, we have equipped this car with racing tyres. So hopefully we should be able to grip around corners very nicely. Perfect. That was terrible. Let's get around this corner. We're relying on these racing tyres to give us the grip that we need. And there we go. That was the sneakiest overtake ever. Awesome. First lap is a 125.9 and we are in third position already. That Lamborghini in matte black looks amazing because it looks like the Reventon, the Reventon, whatever you want to call it. But it looks like that jet fighter Lamborghini that they made. Now that is how you take the corners at Madrid. This is on a um, traction control level 2 as well. So it's slightly higher than what I normally drive as well. And it's still drifting around corners. This thing is crazy. And it's a four wheel drive car. Because Lamborghini moved to four-wheel drive for the Aventador. Awesome. Oh, crap. Way too quick there. But we are now in first place. Very good position to be. 1 minute 24.2 for that lap time. Come 
on, come on, come on. Nice. That is very good. Oh, drift. Perfect. Right. That corner was always a dodgy corner. No matter what car you drive. That was awesome to drift around there. Oh, I've done it again. Not as bad as last time, but I've still done it again. 124.0. Okay. Onto the brakes. Very nice. La Lamborghini. La Lamborghini. Picture no you see me in my Lamborghini. Bit of KSI there. Crap. Not great. I tried taking that corner. That is such a horrible corner there because you can't actually flow it. It is a square corner. It's not even a 90 degree corner, but it's just a square corner. It's not rounded. There is no flow for that corner. And that is why I hate Madrid. It is a horrible track. This is one of the worst tracks in the game. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Right, let's see on this lap if we can do a fastest lap for the final lap of this race. Very nice. Nope. We're not getting a fastest lap. In fact, we might... Okay, not quite getting overtaken. No, we're getting overtaken. That was dreadful. What happened? We were going so well and then all of a sudden just ruined. I never knew the Lamborghini Aventador had like two stage aero. Or even three stage aero. One, two, three. That is sick. The Lamborghini Aventador is a cool car. And there we go, finish line. Ta-da. Uh, let's see what we got then. Seven minutes and 15 seconds for that. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, we are next moving on to the Ferrari 458 Italia one. Um, so let's go. Uh, we're going to be driving the Nissan GTR touring car again at some point. I know. It's a little bit annoying, but it has to be driven. Uh, right, Ferrari 458 Italia. Uh, let's change our car to the Italia. There we go. Uh, one thing I do want to make sure... Because uh, these races allow for racing hard tyres, which is very rare um, in these kind of races. So we're going to chuck some racing hards on. There we go. And let's enter the race. Um, I decided not to go for red for this Ferrari because everyone always seems to drive a red Ferrari. Um, and Ferraris don't have to be in red. 
It is their signature colour, but they don't have to be in red. Um, so we're taking it in a grey Ferrari. So let's do this. Now, I remember the race on um, Monza in... What was it? Gran Turismo 5. Um, I can't remember the episode number because I completely messed up the orders of everything in that. But it was around Monza and it was the Ferrari only event. I remember going around this, three laps, there was Ferrari FXXs, Ferrari Enzos, right, and we were at the back of the pack. And obviously all the Enzos made their way forward to the front of the pack, that's understandable. But then we were in a Ferrari 412 GTB or something. No way. I thought penalties didn't exist in this game. What? Penalties exist? They never existed before. That is crazy. Um, but yeah, we were in a Ferrari 412 GTB and it took forever to do the race. Like, it was two minutes per lap. But oh my god, it was crazy. Like, the final lap was insane. Because all the Enzos were on our tail and we were trying to defend them in what was quite possibly the slowest Ferrari they've made. Right, so these chicanes are going to do us a huge amount of favours because of our late braking tactics. That was not a shortcut. Why are these shortcut penalties a thing now? never actually taken that chicane properly before. <laughs> I have just realised I've never taken that chicane like that before. Right, we've managed to overtake one car in the past, like, nearly entire lap. Hopefully we can catch up with the other Ferraris after our little mishap. I've not known actually how to drive around a circuit. No one needs to know. But that wasn't a corner cut. This game confuses me. Let's go. Nice. Right, we really do need to start catching up now. Now we're at the halfway point of the race. Right, six seconds behind. Awesome. Oh, that was close. I saw the car losing total control there. This is difficult to control this Ferrari. Because it's a rear-wheel drive car, it is 
obviously the Lamborghini is much more superior to the Ferrari 458, even though they were made pretty much a very similar time, like a year or two between them. Even the 488 GTB is still rear-wheel drive of the Ferraris, which is really confusing why Ferrari is still rear-wheel drive cars. Because Ferrari, if they made a four-wheel drive car, I can guarantee you it would sell and be really good. Perfect. Of course the red Ferraris are up in first though. If I did buy a Ferrari though, I would have to buy it in red. Just because it is a better colour for Ferraris. But I just felt like changing it up in the game. Okay, I was breaking way too early there. <laughs> Awesome. Look at that. Nice, nice, nice. Perfect. Right, we've got about a minute left of this race. Nice. I do like Ferrari 458. They do look very nice. They're a little bit uncontrollable in this game though. And here we go, finish line crossed it with that last lap being our fastest lap as well perfect and next up is going to be the gtr one make race and that's going to be a lap around of the nurburgring again another lap around the nurburgring there we go exit i'll take my money and my gold trophy And we will now move over to the Nissan one. Uh, let's change to... Where is it? Here we go. GTR R35 Touring Car. And we need to downgrade the car. So... I feel like transmission should go... Towards here again. In fact, I feel like one, 199 might be better. Uh, let's go 68% I think. Yeah, there we go. 68% is perfect. And let's enter. One lap of the Nordschleifer. To be fair, I wish it was the 24 hour track. Because then that gives us a little bit of a longer race. This is going to take us probably about... Oh, I don't actually know. Seven minutes. Uh, we got a traction control on and they are all GTR 35 touring cars Wasn't expecting that I was expecting a bit of variety But okay, right here we go The R35 touring car We're standing out like a sore thumb here actually Right, hopefully this race goes better than the other 
three attempts I've already done. Perfect. The Nordsch Life is a difficult track to just start on this section. I sort of like to have the um, 24 hour circuit so that it splits the cars out at the start. Perfect. Okay, we're just gonna ride along there and try to survive that. That was absolutely terrible. How do you stay on the track? How did we do it yesterday? Like yesterday we did the Nürburgring in a thousand horsepower. Now I can't do it in 600. Right, squeezing through there. We're going to have to take as many opportunities as we can. Try not to create those overtaking opportunities, but take them when they appear. Seventh now, and in sixth now. There we go. Come on, come on. Nice. And there we go. Right, we are in the top three now. Come on. Right, we are aiming or approaching the uh, carousel corner now. No way. Did we just drift around the carousel like that?
Oh, there we go. Back on the track. Very nice. I think we're getting close to the mini carousel now. I think this is actually it. Yes, the mini carousel is coming up. Look at that, six minutes at the start of the straight. Let's go. Oh, there's no more gears. Kind of makes sense, there's a touring car, they normally only have about six. Very nice. And across the line, finish. Oh, that was like the fourth attempt. Six minutes and 44.847. Nice. That was a very good time there. And let's take our money. 40,000 credits. Nice. It's a very nice paycheck there. Thank you very much so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe if you want to keep up to date on the mechanic cg channel then be sure to check out the description for our social links we've got twitter discord and instagram if you want to go check all of those out uh, if you want to help support the channel make sure to hit that join button or you can go and grab yourself some merch either would mean the world to me but thank you guys so much for watching peace Thank you.